Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to another Wild Rift video and in today's video I'll be telling you everything you need to know about the new champion Galio. I'll be telling you what to build, I'll be telling you how to combo his abilities, I'll be telling you when to pick him, when he's good, how to upgrade his ability, everything. You'll find timestamps in the description to know where you need to skip around, right? So before starting this video, I have an announcement to make. As you could see in the uh, community tab, you know, I have some stuff going on right now, which is that, you know, I'm really enjoying the first eight of April where I'm actually fooling you guys because I have nothing going on. My life has nothing. I'm going to be uploading videos every single day. There is nothing going on. So I got you. Okay, and on top of that, I picked five winners on the skin giveaway. I'll put them in the comment section and you can find a video in the description to see who actually won the giveaway. And this month I'm doing seven skin giveaway. All you got to do, put down a comment under this video. So let's get into this video. First, we're going to be talking about how Galio works. Let's talk about his passive. I'm going to make it very simple for you, okay? His passive, boom. That is his passive. Like, look, look, attack, boom. This is his passive. What his passive does is you smash the ground and... Oh, my camera froze. Oops. You smash the ground and you deal bonus damage. That's literally his passive. So, I already want to give you a tip about Galio. Galio counters mages. He is an absolute counter to mages and i'll explain to you why later on in the video but keep that in mind okay so boom this is his passive and it deals damage in like a circle and the cooldown is three seconds as you can see his first ability as you can see you can aim it like you can do it here or here he throws like two things boom boom and they deal damage so first of all i need to put this on uh, zero cooldown so let me show you something so the side thing deals damage boom as you can see 500 damage but the most gem damage comes from the circle here boom so within the circle, you will deal continuous damage for like 1.5 seconds, as you can see. And it skills with the enemy HP. So it skills with the enemy's max HP. So this is a tank shredding ability. Like in the late game, ooh, this is a tank shredding ability. I really suggest you to stay in this video during uh, till the end. Because in the end, I'm going to give you really important tips on Galio. So okay, this is the first time you can do it like this. You can do it like this. I quickly want to say that doing a flash combo doesn't work with this ability, as you can see. You cannot do a flash combo here. Like, even if you're, like, instant, it do it just doesn't work here. Again. Like, it, it just doesn't work. Okay. His second ability? Boom. Now, you might think, what the hell does that do? So, let me explain. While you're charging it up, while you are charging it up, like this, you will gain a lot of defense. As you can see, um, you will get 40... 40 40% magic resist and it, it will skill with magic resist and you will get 20% physical resistance so as you can see a lot of magic resist and this skills with ability power by the way if you hold it like as i said you enter the defensive stance and you will become tanky if you just click on it boom you will cast it now what happens when you cast it you taunt the enemy uh, enemies taunting is pretty much the same as charming so take a look boom he's taunted he goes after you that is what taunting is. It's basically charming, as I said. So you can either choose to boom, instantly cast it to taunt the enemies for 0.5 seconds, or you can hold it to taunt more people in a longer uh, range. And yeah, it's just better. Another thing to note is while you're casting it, you will become slower, as you can see. So keep that in mind. You will get slower. And, and during the build part, I'll explain to you how you need to uh, fix this. Because you, you need to, like, you can either buy um, Ionian Boots of Lucidity or Boots of Swiftness. Now, I do recommend Boots of Swiftness unless you really need the Ionian Boots. Because when you get Boots of Swiftness, obviously, you're going to be faster during the casting. So let me just real, real quick uh, remove the dummies and add some new ones because they all went on top of each other. So Galio has some very interesting combos. I can't wait to show them to you. His third ability is like a dash. Boom! And you will knock up the enemy as you can see. Boom! So let me tell you something that might already be a little secret that you won't know about. Which is you don't have to dash like this. Like okay this is a normal way of dashing. But you can also do this. And as you can see... This is actually faster. Look. Oops, that was misclick. Look. If you are close to the enemy, instead of doing this, you can dash backwards. Look. Boom. It is act it, it is faster. Trust me, this is actually faster. Like try it out. Boom. This is like this is good for longer ranges, but when you're on top of the enemy as I said, do it like this. Dash behind them. Okay. So about this ability, 
All of this, it's a dash, as you can see, and it knocks the enemy up for 0.75 seconds. Not too hard. So let's talk about his ultimate, guys. His ultimate goes to a very, very, very long range, as you can see. So let's run all the way here. I just want to show you, as you can see. Look at this. Just look. With a brief delay, boom, you will go right on top of the enemies. And let me show you one more thing. Wait, let, let's, um, let me show you one more thing. So if I put my ally here, take a look at how long the enemies are going to get stunned. Take a look at the middle dummy and the two outer dummies. Look. Look. Boom. Um, wait, actually, it's the same. They haven't done it in, in Wild Rift like this. So in... Um, in League of Legends, it used to be a longer knockup if you stun them in the middle. But in Wild Rift, it's actually the same knockup on all the places. This is actually something that I just learned as well. So, as you can see, as long as you hit the enemies, you're gonna knock them up. This is a huge ability. I actually missed one thing about the second ability, which I forgot to mention. Is if you take damage from the enemies, like whenever you take damage, you will get a magic shield. So, let's see if this Lux actually wants to attack me. Look, look, a purple shield. As you can see, a purple shield. Now take a look at the dummy, guys. He also gets the purple shield. Do you see that? So the purple shield is a shield that blocks magic resists. And this skills with health, bonus health. Like, here, I'm going to try to show it to you again. So let's go on this guy. Oh, I just almost one shot at him. <laughs> so when he hits me, boom, magic resist. It blocks magic resist. Um... And yeah, like it makes your ally tankier, as you can see. This is a huge, huge ultimate. So now I want to talk about combos. Because there are actually so many things that you can do on this champion. So wait, I need to stop all the... Um, to remove all the dummies to show you again what kind of combos he can do. Like comboing him, there, there are actually endless combos. So let's start with this. Like you can this use this combo if you feel like you can easily hit the enemy. Or if the enemy is really slow. So what you can do is boom, boom. And boom, taunt him in it. So the thing that this combo does, it deals a lot of damage. So you throw your first ability, you immediately dash to the enemy, basic attack and taunt. Okay? The, I don't really recommend this combo, but only use this combo if you can easily hit the enemy. Okay? Another combo would be, this one is a little better, dash. And then use this, charge it up, and then use your first ability. As you can see, the enemy is taunted. So take a look at it again. You dash at the enemy, you charge up your second ability, and when the knockup stops, you taunt them and use a basic attack and immediately use your first ability. So let's take a look again. Boom, charge, boom, boom, boom. Exactly that. So you really need to rewatch what I did there. So let's. I'm going to do it one more time. Boom. Oh, I actually failed it, but it's okay. Like, even if you fail it a little bit like that, you'll still be fine. So, another thing that I another thing that I really want to tell you is you can do this. Like, when you use your second ability, boom, use a backwards knockup and then use your first ability. Now, the backwards knockup is insane, guys. The backwards knockup is absolutely beautiful. So, let me show you, show you some combos with the backwards knockup as well. So, um, what you can do is when you're close to an enemy, as I said, instead of knocking them up like this, knock them up like this, use this and this. I said this and this. I need to say the ability names. I'm so sorry. So you need to use your third ability, then your first ability while they are knocked up, and then your second ability to taunt them even more. So look, boom, boom, boom. They will take so much damage if you do this, but you can only do this if you're close to them. So again, take a look. So you do this, you surprise them. Boom, boom, and boom. Yeah. Perfect, perfect little combination right here. Obviously, there are many, many things that you can do. I want to show you something that you cannot do, which is use your flash during during your second ability. As you can see, you cannot use your flash during your second ability. It just doesn't work, okay? So here, I'm going to try it again. It doesn't work, okay? Actually, no flash combos seem to work on him because flash doesn't work with this ability either. As you can see, look, it just doesn't proc here. It doesn't work. So you cannot do any flash combos as of now with Galio, unfortunately. So, um, like, as I said, there are actually more combos than I just mentioned. You just need to experiment. Like, look, you can do this. You can do so many things. He has beautiful little burst combinations. So you can go in, use your first ability, taunt them into your first ability, all things like that. So, um, yeah, that was it about here. Now I'm going to be giving you some general tips and tricks. So with Galio, when you're in the lane, let's... Um, Let's turn on the minions. Okay, so when you're playing in the lane, like the way that I want to play against this Lux 
is I don't want to farm like this. Let me wait one second. I, let me just turn uh, off the cooldown reduction. So the way that you want to farm in lane is try to last hit and hit the enemy just like this. You know, to deal poke damage, to, to hit the enemy and really bash on them. This is a little thing that you really need to do in your lane. Like when you're farming, like, you know, try to hit the enemy Lux. Don't just farm, try to hit the enemy as well. Now, this is a cool trick in lane that you really, really need to do. And like, this is going to allow you to outpoke the enemy. So let me give you tips on Galio. As I said, Galio is huge, a huge, huge, huge counter against mages. Like you absolutely demolish mages. It's actually insane how hard you will demolish mages, especially assassins like Akali, Karina. Like when an assassin dives you, what you can do is you can use your second ability to taunt them into you. Use your first ability after the taunt to hit them and then even knock them up with your third ability. So pick Galio if the enemies have assassins. Also pick Galio if the enemies have if the enemies just have a lot of magic resist. Like Galio will absolutely destroy an Akali, for example. So um, these are some little things. Another thing to note is, as you can see, the range of the ultimate is huge. It's almost global, as you can see. Like all I gotta do is walk here. And I can jump onto my ally. Like when my ally is in trouble in his lane, I can just walk here, use my ultimate on him, save his ass, and go. You know, that's what you can do. It's like really beautiful. Like look at this. These are also some combos that you can do. Like you can just surprise the enemy out of the bush. You can come out of the bush, you know, just like this. Taunt them real quick. Like you don't have to hold the taunt. You can just do it like this to taunt them for 0.5 seconds. Use your smash basic attack. This, you know, like... There's different kinds of things that you can do on Galio. Like let's try to like let's try to go again. Like even if you don't hit her, it's fine. If you just get close to her, as you can see. So let's as you can see, like you'll be fine. You don't even have to hit the enemy. So I really want to show you the backwards, uh the backwards third ability. I want to show you a cool combo with it as well. So you can dash on the enemy, use it backward, and kill the enemy, as you can see. What I did there is I flashed on the uh, flashed on the Lux like this, used it backwards to instantly knock her up. So obviously the difference is between using it backwards and forward. Let's, I'm going to use it forwards now. Let's look at what's going to happen. It takes longer. As you can see, she dodged it. Like she genuinely dodged it. I'm not even kidding. I, I didn't miss it on purpose. She dodged it because it takes longer. When you go backwards, you go behind the enemy and immediately hit them. But when you go forwards, uh, like you can miss it you can miss it so let's try again let me show you again it's super super important to use it backwards in certain situations so i want to get close to her she's actually pretty scared so let's get close use it backwards hit her and use our combo this is how you need to play her so now i'm going to be talking about how to build galio let's get into the build part Okay, on to the build part. So after carefully thinking and analyzing Galio on League of Legends, um, Galio is a late game champion and you have to build a lot of ability power to get your abilities a lot of power, right? So let's talk about how to build Galio. Rod of Ages is the pinnacle of a late game item. This item is going to give you bonus health, bonus ability power, bonus max mana, but it also skills into the late game. As you can see, you will get stacks every 30 seconds when you build Rod of Ages, up to 10 stacks. So it stacks up to like five minutes after you get the Rod of Ages and you're going to stack up an additional 200 health, 100 mana and 60 ability power so when you fully stack this item in like in the later stages of the game you have 450 bonus health 120 ability power and 400 mana from this item which is absolutely huge so another thing is ludens echo now get um there is a debate on whether or not you should get this item. Get this item if you want the Ludens Echo poking. So with the Ludens Echo, your first ability is going to be very obnoxious in the lane. However, if you just want to go all in, like if you don't want the poking, if you want to go on, sw switch out Leandris for it. Leandris is going to be allowing you to deal some, a little more damage, you know. Um, well, I said all in, but, I, but what I mean is like one on one. Like, you know, not poking, but just damage damage so ludens echo is for poking i'm sorry i i, I said uh, all in but that's not what i actually meant what i meant is that ludens echo for poking and um 
Leandris for damage, you know, throughout the fight. You, that's how you can decide which one you want to get. Third item, Rabadon's Death Cap. This item is absolutely huge, huge on Galio. This is going to provide you so much ability power. It's insane. Okay, now here it depends. Like, let's say you already have a Leandris. It depends. If you need armor, uh, magic penetration, get a Void Staff. Void Staff is an absolutely broken item on Galio. When you get magic penetration on this champion, it's really, really nice. If, you need, if the enemies have a lot of healing, if they have Mundo, Nasa, Sona, you know, whatever. If they have a lot of healing, get... What? The book is not... It's a green book. What is this? What is this item? It's green. Where is the blue book? Wow, I got trolled, man. Okay, so get the green book. The green book. Um... Uh, which, wait, what happened to my screen as well? Like, all these issues with my stupid recording. So, it depends. Like, your last two items really depend on the matchup. So, you can always go for Rod of Ages. And here, whatever you like, you know. If you want Poke, get Ludus Echo. If you just want Damage, get Leandris. And then here, Rabadon's Death Cap. And, and the last two items, completely situational. You need a lot of Magic Penetration, get a Void Staff. You need Anti-Heal, get, get the Green Book. You need Poke, get Ludens Echo. You know, it completely depends on what you need. Also, Infinity Orb could be good if you just... Like, this one is meant for assassinating the enemy. If you just want to assassinate the enemy, get an Infinity Orb. So, let's talk about the runes. As I said, I really feel like this champion is a late-game champion. And... Um, I constructed this build based on what I think this champion is going to be. Obviously, it's going to change throughout the days. So here, Electrocute. Electrocute is beautiful on a Galio, what I think, because with him, it's very easy to proc the Electrocute by going in hard. You know, you can go in and proc the Electrocute. However, if you feel like you don't want the burst damage, perhaps a Conqueror could work, but I don't recommend it. I just recommend an, an Electrocute for now. Maybe that's going to change, however. So here, Gathering Storm. As I said, Galio is a late game champion and Gathering Storm is going to allow you to really scale well into the late game because every two minutes you get four ability power. Now here it depends. I've chosen regeneration and ma mana flow band. Go for this if you you know if you want mana. You can also get sweet tooth if you feel like you don't need the mana. But like I recommend you like I recommend you to try out both. You know see what fits you the best. But as for the third one, I really recommend regeneration. It's just good because it either regenerates health or mana based on whichever you have less. Like the other ones, I don't like them. You should just go for full damage Galio because your second ability is all the tankiness that you need. So um, about the spells, honestly, it depends. You want ignite, go ignite. You want barrier, go barrier. But it's it's one of the two. You either go for ignite or you go for barrier. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I really hope this video was helpful. And keep in mind that I'm doing a skin giveaway the whole month of April. Again, I'm giving away seven skins. All you gotta do is put down a comment under this video and under some other videos that I upload on April. Make sure to subscribe and I will wait, wait, wait. I will see you all in the next Wild Drift video. Bye bye.